For many aspiring musicians, particularly those who are self-taught, like I was at the beginning, sheet music can be really intimidating and hard to get into. I used to do anything I could to avoid actually having to use sheet music. I could read the basic pitches, but if I could, I would just write down the notes alphabetically, or I would make up my own little systems, or I would just figure out the notes by ear. I would always avoid actually using sheet music until I finally went to uni and was forced to. And I'm really glad I did because it's an incredibly useful system. There's a reason it's been around for hundreds of years. I think one of the main problems I had is that sheet music, particularly sheet music for pop songs, can often be over transcribed, meaning there's too much information on the page. Really, a three or four minute pop song with repeating verses and choruses shouldn't be taking up seven or eight pages of sheet music, but that's what you'll find if you try to download some of your favorite pop songs in sheet music. Really, these songs would fit into a one or two page lead sheet. So what I'm gonna show you today is how you can take some of these longer arrangements and condense them into much more manageable, much easier to read lead sheets. So a lead sheet, in case you've not heard of that before, is when sheet music fits onto one or two pages and just gives you the essential melody on a treble clef and the essential harmony above written as chords. And this is really common in jazz tunes. So the jazz standards book, The Real Book, is full of lead sheets of famous jazz songs. And all it gives you is the essential melody and the chords and lets you do the rest of the work. So instead of prescribing to you an arrangement or a structure, that is all left down to you to either write or improvise. So let me show you how you can take a long transcription of a song and turn it into a lead sheet. So here, for example, I have a transcription of John Legend's All of Me that I got off MuseScore. And this is a particularly awful example. No offense to the guy who wrote it down. It is 18 pages long, 18 pieces of paper to play the song All of Me. You don't need 18 pages. So let's get trimming. So the first thing I'm going to do is lose some of these staves. So like I mentioned before, a lead sheet usually just has a treble clef with the melody. Here currently we have three clefs. We have one for the vocal melody and two, one for the right hand of the piano and one for the left hand of the piano. Now on top of that, we also have the chords written above the song. Now I want to play this song as a solo piano piece, an instrumental. So I'm going to want that vocal melody. So instead of playing the right hand piano piece that's written down here, I'm going to play the vocal melody in my right hand on the piano. Now I'm going to keep the intro because that's quite recognisable, but apart from that I'm going to lose that entire stave of music. But I can go further than that because the left hand of the piano here is really just playing what the chords are. So I can lose that whole stave as well and just use the chords that are written here. And there we go, we now have just the treble clef with the chords above it. That's our lead sheet. And if we look at how many pages we've got, we've massively cut down the arrangement from 18 pages to five pages. But we can do a little more than that. See, at the moment we have the verse, the pre-chorus and the chorus written out, but then the second verse, second pre-chorus and second chorus are all written out as well, even though they're basically the same parts. So let's lose those duplicate sections and just put a repeat mark in there instead. And while I'm at it, because I'm not gonna be using these lyrics, I'm just gonna delete all these lyrics because they're taking up quite a lot of space on the page. And there you go, we've now taken an 18 page arrangement of a song and turned it into a one page lead sheet. So even if you don't use software like Sibelius or MuseScore for your sheet music, you can still do this. So here I now have the official sheet music from the internet of All Of Me, and it's 10 pages long. So once again, unnecessarily long. But if I click on this button, I can actually choose from several different arrangements of the same song, including a lead sheet. And the lead sheet is three pages long, so significantly shorter and, bonus, it's actually cheaper as well. Now it's important to remember that there is a trade-off when you use lead sheets. You're going to lose some of that extra information that would have led to the piece sounding like the original. And if that's your intent, if you want to recreate the original piece of music in its original arrangement, then you probably will want the full piece of sheet music. However, if you're planning on rearranging the piece or reinterpreting it, then lead sheets are probably going to be really helpful for you. And like I said at the beginning, if you're someone who's usually intimidated by sheet music, about having to learn sheet after sheet of long music with all those different symbols, then a lead sheet can be a great introduction into how to read sheet music. And you don't read music? I don't know. Have oh, you got a problem with that? No, but it's well, quite amazing. Right, you have to mention it in front of all these people. <laughs> I mean, no, you're, you're one of the most successful songwriters of all time and you don't read music. No, as long as the two of us know what we're doing, i.e. John and I, we know what chords we're playing, and we remember the melody. We don't actually ever have the need to write it down. 
or to read it.